Hey guys, Jason again coming at you with Surviving Dad Life. Hey, uh, I got these two RC cars sent to me. I don't know how to pronounce the company's name. Uh, it's like Zubola or something. Anyway, I'll put it up on the screen somewhere here. Uh, anyway, they sent these two cars to me and they asked if I'd try them out and give me their honest opinion and tell them what I think about them. Uh, we'll start out just talking about the packaging. This one, I guess, a uh, dancing off-road stunt car. Oh, and don't mind my outdoor kitchen area. I'm trying to work on that. Uh, apparently, you can stand this thing up on its butt or on its rear and then get to uh, driving it around. This one has like a regular controller like on the Nintendos, not like your traditional RC cars where they have the trigger and you turn the wheel to get it to move. This one has the more traditional one that has the pistol grip and you turn the wheel and all that uh anyway i'm gonna start on this car here oh you know what after we uh get done with this we need to go buy some batteries for the controllers cool all right oh and y'all heard colton colton say hi Colton's uh, recording on the camera today, and he's going to help me run these cars once we get them charged. But uh, get these things fired up. Instructions. Nobody needs those. Uh, oh, there's a contact information in here. After sale service card. If you need anything or any additional info, you holler at them, and they'll fix you up, I guess. And then... Once you open the box, you should usually should take out the stuff. Shut up, kid. All right, it's got some clips in here with the screwdriver. Don't know what that's for. Probably if you read the instructions. I'm guessing the charger is in here. Here's the car. And then my dogs are all wound up at something. There's probably a rabbit running around. Here's the car. It advertises that it has shocks on it and stuff. Anyway, here in the back of it looks like where the battery goes. And then on the bottom side is the controller. Simple on-off button. Doesn't look like you have an antenna that you raise up. But then you left and right, forward and back. And then I don't know what that auto means. But after we get these charged, we'll read the instructions and see what all it does. Next car. If I can get it open. This one's a lot bigger box, so I don't know what kind of car this thing is. <laughs> Instructions. You know how when you buy toys nowadays and they have like 50 things attaching it to the package? These don't have that which I'm super stoked about. Now this thing here looks like it's made for speed. Look at that thing. It's a lot lower to the ground where this one's set up. I bet you this thing will haul tail and then this one's made for like jumping over stuff. Oh, I see what it is. See the clips that are in here? You might have to get in closer. There's some little bitty clips right there. Or right here on the car. I guess if you ever have to take the top off and do something to it. You could put those clips on. Okay, and then here's your more traditional RC controller where you got backward and forward and then you turn it right there. That goes with this one and then it comes with a screwdriver. I guess for getting in the battery compartments. Okay, so as you could tell by looking at them, this one looks like more of your playing around and climbing over stuff, and the wheels are really made out of rubber. And this one looks like it's built for some speed. But <clears throat> let's get these opened up, and we'll see what the chargers look like. Oh, the battery's in there. Oh! They send you two batteries. So I guess while you're running this one, 
on this one battery you can charge this one and it comes with a usb cable that you plug these in to charge them with that's pretty sweet most cars only get one battery so then when this thing goes down after using it for like 10 or 15 minutes and you have to charge it for two hours but while you're charging this one you can play on that one that's freaking awesome yeah no and tasha's gonna be mad when she watches this sees i'm throwing trash everywhere uh this one's got the same type of usb charging cable oh yes and it's got two batteries with it so we'll get to charging these batteries up it's the same kind of connector that they have and then uh we'll get them in the cars and we'll run them all right we're gonna go ahead and look into here i'm kind of thinking i might have jumped the gun on that because the way the batteries are small and the compartment's big oh no i was right nice so um one of them goes in there and you plug it in and run it the other car take it out of its butt yep just one battery and you shove it in the back there but okay we're gonna get the uh chargers for these and we're gonna start charging the batteries <laughs> this one here oh, the God. cylinders are running that's freaking cool all right take off with it Oh, it did a wheelie! Hello, watch out. <laughs> Turn that sucker around. Come back here. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome! That's the auto button. <laughs> That's the auto button? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it was not good at driving for drag. Eh, it does pretty good. I'm only using the one finger. All right, here it goes. Wham! <laughs> These are pretty cool. All the headlights work on it too. Wham! You know, these things do pretty good in the grass. <laughs> here, drive it through over here where the, uh, yeah. I mean, that's pretty rough road right there, and those little cars are taking it pretty easy. Look at that. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Let's see if uh, Bella approves. Nope, I don't guess Bella approves of it. Uh, I don't guess Bella likes it. Hey, Colton, what do you think about it? You think it's cool? Hey, you want to come drive this one? What do you think about them? All right, I'm not much of an RC car fan, but these things, they're, cool. they're pretty cool. Uh, I've been driving around for a little bit, and it's actually kind of fun. It might get me into doing stuff like this. I think they have, like, races and stuff with these things. Anyway, we're going to close this one out. Appreciate you guys for watching our uh, little review of these uh, cars. Uh, if y'all get a chance, definitely check them out and get some of your own. Uh, once again, it's Jason Surviving Dad Life. You guys go out of here. Go get your own uh, little RC car. Link in the description. And I'm pretty sure there's a discount code. I'll have it in there at the bottom. See y'all later.